this is Keith Fordyce welcoming you to a very special edition of Ready, Steady, Go. For those of you who don't know this show, I might say that each week we invite all sorts of pop singers along here to Studio 9 in Kingsway, London, and uh, the crowd who come in get a chance to meet their stars close to. Well, each week we'd like to have a special look at fashion, so we'll kick off that way this week. First of all, hairstyles. Well, they are long, as always. And then hand styles, lots and lots of rings, shirt fronts, immaculately white with long collars and boots well the high heels the cuban heels are still there and of course our four models are none other than the beatles Stay put for a moment while I tell folks that you've got a special award coming to you and uh, Billboard magazine in America has specially asked to be presented to you on this show. And this is in recognition of the fact that uh, two or three weeks ago you had in the American charts numbers one, two and three in their hit parade, All Beatles Records. <laughs> and that's an outstanding achievement and you've got the award uh, of a type that's never been given before for that. I might add, I phoned the States just uh, half an hour ago and they told me that this week it's one, two, three and four hey. are your records. Oh. And once more you've got another six in the top hundred making ten in all together. Nice. So all I suggest is that uh, don't keep on with this, otherwise there'll be a second war of independence. Watch it, blokes. Uh, <laughs> Kathy, have you got the award? Hand it over from Billboard magazine. Congratulations yeah. to you all. Yeah. Now, Paul, I'm going to leave you in the uh, tender care of Kathy. OK? Have a chat. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Paul. What can Hello. I ask you? Um, let's see. How many songs are in your new film? Uh, I think it's about seven or so but mm. they're not quite sure about the last few because we're doing them on stage you know we may sort of add a couple when do, where do you go when you're not working you know can uh, you go out in the evenings and things like that yeah the pictures where do you go? pictures, pictures mm. uh, skating how did you enjoy them there a couple don't really skate what um, did you go out anywhere yeah where did you go uh peppermint lounge Playboy Club. I didn't like that. No. Did you like the bunnies? The, you know, the bunnies no, I thought they were horrible. Shh. Did you? Oh, tell them. No, they were great. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. Now, our uh, amateur disc jockey this week is John Lennon. <coughs> but just before we talk about uh, disc jockeying and records that you like, John, what about books? What about them? Well, you've just written one, haven't you? Well, it just so happens to have. It's at nine and six, Keith, and uh, it'll be out on Tuesday or Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, but tell us what's in it, then we might feel like buying it. Uh, rubbish. Yeah, but what is it? Poetry, or prose, or what? Well, it's a sort of, uh, sort of, um, sort of words and things with drawings. 
But when we said you'd just written it, have you in fact just done it? Or did you do it a long time ago? It's been a long time. Long time. How long? About 40 years or so, I think. Come off it. How long ago did you write uh, this? It's a couple of years, you know. Some of it's old, some of it's new, something borrowed, something brown. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this the start of a big literary career for Lennon? I'm hoping to go straight, yes, sir. I, I mean, you've heard, you've heard of literary lions. Well, we should have a literary Lennon in future. I get it. You're with me? Ah, uh, this Great. Been away. But seriously, you, you like writing? Is this a, uh, another form of expression for you? Some no, I don't express nothing in the writing. I just do it for fun. When you say fun, is it meant to be humorous? It's a hobby. Do you, write? Do you like a writing humorous stuff? Yeah, well, it's meant to be funny. Right, it's we'll see on funny, Tuesday yes. when it comes out, Nine, shall we? Six. <laughs> now, choose a record for us. Nice, nice picture on the front. Oh, well, we have some of Marvin Gaye or uh, yeah. Miracles or... Yeah. Or... Uh, uh, look at oh, that. What we say? We say Marvin Gaye. <laughs> Marvin Gaye. He's my favourite, I think. Hey! And, uh, of course, we could have, uh, who was the other one? Yeah, just a minute. What Shirelles is this? Camera, camera. What's well. this going on here? We've got a campaign going on. Never sure. noticed. Oh, I know. How about, how about, how about, say, how about playing t -t Tennessee Waltz to do who? by Alma Warren? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you remember last week we had this contest asking you to send in paintings, drawings, cartoons, photo montages of the Beatles. And uh, we got an absolutely fabulous lot of entries from you. We must congratulate you all together. I think we had about 32 sackloads of entries. So, fellas, do you want to have a look at them? See how you look to the others? Have a trip round now while we listen to that most aptly titled This Boy. Gentlemen, you have arrived. You're standing in front of him. Oh, Move out, Lennon. You're standing that. right in front of the winning entry. This piece of uh, pop art, which is a most ingenious construction. Pop and art. You the hold. Man. Yeah, you hold on to that, John, will you? Two LPs, which the prize for the winner here, Jeremy. Jeremy Ratter. Ratter. That was it. Jeremy, Hello. your prizes. Hello, Jerry. Thank you. Can I present you with these. Uh, you tell us which LPs you chose. Well, I chose Shostakovich Violin Concerto and Mingus by Charlie Mingus. Oh. Well done. <laughs> Right, well, that's Ringo. I bet he's with Kathy. Where are you? Dirty Ringo. <laughs> Ringo, you can sign the record later on. How's the new film going? Oh, fine. We're having a great time. Mm, what's it about? Well, it's um, roughly about us, you know, two days of our lives. When we go from one place to um, a, a TV studio and we do a show and then we 
we go away. Okay. Well, it takes eight weeks to make, so you can work that really? one out. Really? <laughs> how, um, how long is it going to be before it comes out? Do you know? Um, Have you got any idea? Roughly the end of June, the beginning of July. Mm. Who designs your clothes, Ringo? Uh, well, we all have a go, you see. Mm. What about this you're suit. wearing now? Well, it's the velvet collar. Mm. What do you call it? The velvet collar. <laughs> no, not the collar, the suit. It's just an ordinary three-button suit. Do you think you're a mod? What's do you know it? what a mod is, Ringo? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a mod. Or a rocker. You're nothing. No. no. I'm a mocker. Really? Is there going to be an LP of the, of the film? Yes, there's going to be an LP of the film. Great. Look forward to hearing it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Bye-bye. <laughs> And it features John with his first guitar solo. So let's hear, you can't do that. I got something to say that might cause you pain. If I catch you talking to that boy again, I'm gonna let you down and leave you flat. Because I told you. Tell you one more time, I think it's a sin I think I'll let you down So bad. George, can you ever go anywhere now where you're not recognised? Um, um, bed, yeah. That's about the only place. <laughs> but even less, was, some people recognise me. What can you wear a disguise? Me. It doesn't fill in. Oh. How did you enjoy America? Oh, it was very nice, yeah. What did you like in particular about it? Uh, all sorts of things. <laughs> I like, like what? I like the entertainment, the radio, TV and... The drive-in movies and all that, you know. Do you go to the drive-in movies? Yeah, hundreds of times. How do they work? You, what, you drive the car in or what? You drive your car in, you see, yeah. and there's all little things like parking meters. <laughs> yes. But they're not parking meters. No. Uh, the speakers and you pull them in the car and wind your window up. Mm. And it's great, you know. Where you, do you, you go? You just watch. Sorry, like in the only pictures, like, you know. Really? Where yeah. do you go here when you're not working? Do you go to the films or dancing or anywhere like well, that? Well, um, sometimes we see private films. <laughs> oh, we can't all see the private films. Well, you know, they're, they're just ordinary films we saw. Uh, I mean, I don't mean money just because they're private. I mean, they're not so the dirty ones. Are not the <laughs> they're all thinking here, you know. No, James Bond, <laughs> all that, you know. Yes, yes. Only private, because if we go out to a normal theatre, it's, mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's too much trouble. Mm. Who are so your favourite film stars, girls? Um, Margaret Rutherford. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Mm. yeah. What records do you like other than your own? 
uh, all the, the Motown, Tamla records, Jim yes. Burry Wells, Miracles, Marvin Gaye, uh, Impressions, all that crowd. Yes. George, can we hear your latest record now, please? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, certainly, you can hear it, and it's called Can't Buy Me Love, and I'm Parlophone, and it's six and nine. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Fable you. values, George. Thank you. Can't buy me love. Oh, love. Oh, love. Can't buy me love. I'll buy you diamond ring, my friend. If I make you feel all right. I'll get you anything, my friend. If I make you feel all right. Cause I don't care too much for money. But money can't buy me love. I'll give you all I to give if you say you love me too I may not have a lot to give but what I got I'll give to you I don't care too much for money the money can buy me love can buy me love everybody tells me so can buy me love no 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 say you don't need no diamond rings and I'll be Satisfied. Tell me that you want the kind of thing the money just can't buy. I don't care too much for money. Money can buy me love. I'm very sorry to say it's just about all for this week. I want to say a very big thank you to all of you. They sent us these wonderful pictures and we'll try and send them back to you just as soon as possible. Don't forget our great big date. Oh, good evening, sir. We'll see you later. Thank you very much. Don't forget our great big date on April the 8th for our gigantic mod ball. We'll have the Empire Pool Wembley music all night with uh, 10 of the top pop groups from this country. And I guess that's just about it. So long. <laughs>